park floor cleaning, okay? <laughs> Housekeeping is a quite a chore, isn't it? Yes, it okay, is. Okay, it takes a lot of energy and it takes a lot of time, right? Exactly. So if we're gonna spend all of our time cleaning, how much dirt do you really want your vacuum to pick up? Some of the dirt, most of the dirt, most or all the dirt? You want most of it at least, right? If not all of it, okay? The last thing we want to do is actually clean the house and then still have all that stuff inside the carpet, right? Because mm -hmm. then it just feels like we're wasting our time, we're not getting the results we truly want. You have a car, it goes from point A to point B, right? Yeah. If it only got you halfway there, we would never use that car, right? right? Okay, just like the refrigerator, if it only kept some of the food fresh and cold. Get your little cell phone. Oh, uh -huh. you gotta buy it now. Move you, Ralph. You got some money? <laughs> you are. <laughs> you can't break it, it's not breakable. You can break the other one, but you can't break this one. Now what's cool about this is you can take it, right? Say you're done cleaning your hard floors, all you do is rotate this dial back around, and then now the brush roll's spinning, so it's back ready for carpet. Listen, you hear that? That's how you know how to adjust it to different carpets and adjust by sound. are closed right now. What if the neighbors ah! <laughs> <laughs> Usually we throw those away at the end. How bad do you want to get rid of those dirt pads? If we just packed up and left, and we left the dirt pads there, would you leave them there? No, you get rid of them, right? See, people don't really think they're ever going to buy a curb wheel. I don't think anybody in the morning time, when we sell these machines, they never wake up in the morning planning on buying a Kirby. They don't know we're coming by. See, the thing is, people make new decisions based You're on right. new information, right? When you get new information, you can make a new decision, correct? That's right. So I'm sure you didn't have the, any idea there's that much dirt in the carpet, but now that you know there's that much dirt in the carpet and you know your vacuum cleaner's plugged up, it's probably breaking or soon to break completely, you're gonna have to replace it. So that, in our favor, puts you in the market for a vacuum cleaner. Whether you buy one today or not, that's totally okay. You might buy one in a month or two from now, right? After Christmas, okay? We just wanna make sure this is gonna be the next one to buy, whether no matter when it is. Because we don't want you to buy another inefficient vacuum cleaner. Otherwise, we don't want one of our jobs. How old is he? Three. He's three? Is that the terrible threes? Yeah, they were the twos plus threes. Yeah, it's like the treacherous yeah, yeah. it's like the treacherous twos and the terrible threes, right? Yes. Do you think we have allergies in this house? Uh he got a little allergies. A little bit. Of, I already have a little bit of allergies, yeah, right? I got a too, yeah. Now, what's cool about this is our bag is made out of electrostatic polypropylene. Go ahead and fill that material. That electrostatic polypropylene is just a fancy word, kind of for doctor's mask. You see the fibers in there? Uh -huh. Okay. What's cool about this is this is what our inner bag is made out of. So when you pass air through the bag, you pass air through it, it creates an electrostatic charge. So it's grabbing up these particles, basically. Any uh -huh. dust, dirt, pet dander, any type of pollen, or any type of dust that you would have inside this home is gonna be trapped inside these layers. So it never gets back into the air that we're breathing. Okay, so if I gave you one of these dirt pads, I'm sure you, if you were to sniff up some of that dust, you'd probably you know, catch a cold, yes. right? You'd start sneezing dramatically. Yeah. Okay, now what's cool about the Kirby is, have you ever smelled uh, dust when you vacuum with your vacuum cleaner or seen dust? Of course, right? Okay, usually you can wipe the outside of the 
a, a bagless vacuum and there's dust all over them. I'm going to take three of these and smash them together mm -hmm. to show you how the dirt is going to hit the top one first and it's not going to blow back into the air. Nothing will escape. <laughs> See, would you know what this madness. is? It's madness, right? Now look at the different layers here. I can take this and I can breathe right into it. And that's that was just in the vacuum. There's no dust in it. Okay, so anything that's, that we're picking up is staying inside the bag. That's pretty nice, isn't it? What the world? You see that? It's pretty good. That would be worth at least $1.50 a day, right? <laughs> much dirt in your carpet before we came today you probably would reconsider right yeah okay if you know if you know there's that much dirt there all right now it's hot it's hot it's hot turn it off which one's off yeah hit that yeah okay. of, i got it off okay it got hot yes i have that effect <laughs> <laughs> I'm 33, I'm in my prime right now. Here you go. Ah, ah. I said, I'm still, I'm tired of this stuff. What? Now there's only one way to get rid of this dirt. Can you see what it is? What, do you, what would you have to do to get rid of this dirt? You'd have to get one, right? Now what's cool about this, what's great about our trip is that we're taking your old vacuum as your down payment, right? So normally we ask for over $300 down on a Kirby. That's usually a mandatory down payment, standard. You know, $300 down, 100 bucks a month. That's usually what they run. But because of our contest, we're taking your old vacuum out as a down payment. So that will cover your $300 down and the payments are only around 80 bucks a month. And you only have to pay for it until it's paid off. It doesn't last forever. You can pay the Kirby off as quick as you want. There's no prepayment penalty charges. You're in the military, you qualify for military discounts. And then, then what's cool, we set up a brand new machine for you. We show you how to use it, make sure that you're comfortable with the equipment. That's what our job really is, is to make sure that you know how to use it because there's a bit of a learning curve when you buy a Kirby. You won't know how to turn it on or how to put the bag in it or you won't know how to t change it from a vacuum to a shampooer. Mm -hmm. So we make sure that you know how to use the equipment because we're good with customer service. Okay, I've been doing this for over 10 years, he has too. So our, our jobs are just mainly just showing people how to use the equipment if they decide to buy one. Like I said, we usually sell about 50%. So half the people buy, half the people don't buy. Oh. People that don't buy, we don't have to even show them how to use one. Because they don't buy one, you know? No. <laughs> it's so easy to use, why wouldn't you want to have one if the other one's breaking down anyway, right? It's cool, like, you don't have to start your payments until the end of January right now. Normally we'll, we'll, make you, we'll make you put a down payment the day of the purchase, and then we we'll usually start the payments within a 30-day period, 30 days from the day of purchase. Right now, because of our contest, we're pushing the payments back 45 days. So you have 45 days until you even have to pay for it. You've been vacuuming for 45 days in a row, and then you finally got to come up with 20 bucks a week to get, get a curb, you know? At 20 bucks a week, I'm sure that you wouldn't have to move or change addresses or shut the lights off or, or change, uh, 
change your Comcast provider or anything like that, right? <laughs> Dirt is too much dirt. All right. That's a lot of dirt. That's a lot of dirt, right? Okay. So it's too much. That means we need to take action now, right? If we came back and we, if I came back in three hours from now, I told you to leave and you came back and I had your whole floor covered with these pads all the way through the hallway, all the bedrooms, the whole living room was covered. What would you do? <laughs> You'd say I have to get one. I don't have any choice, right? <laughs> way to save money is just to buy once and buy right in the economy. You know, that's the truest way to save money. But buying cheaper equipment, sometimes we think that we're saving money because we just buy a 40 or a $50 vacuum or maybe a $100 vacuum. But if it's not performing and it's not picking up the dirt, then it doesn't matter how much you really pay for it, right? True. See, what happens, what, what I hate is that the most is that people that buy Dysons, have you seen that a Dyson commercial? You know the Dyson, it's the one at the store that's real expensive. It's like 500 bucks. It's at the other end of the aisle from the cheap ones. They're, yeah, they're like the Shark, the Rotator. You know, they're on commercial yeah. every 20 minutes. Those are about 200 bucks. Now, those are, the Dyson and the Shark are number one and number two trade-ins for Kirby's. We take those because what happens is people buy them. And then why do they buy them? Because they want to pick up the dirt. And they think, oh, if I buy this $500 one, this one's going to pick up all the dirt. So they go vacuum their carpet really good. And then we come by, and what happens? The same exact thing that's happening right here, even though you only have a $40 vacuum. Mm -hmm. So what do they do? They want to call the Dyson company and complain. They want to sue them. They're all pissed off because they think they bought a good vacuum cleaner. See, the reason why we think they're doing their job is because the container always fills up, right? Yeah. Doesn't your canister always fill up? And yeah. what does it fill up with? There. It fills up with stuff like this, right? But most of it, I'll probably bet you, is stuff like this. Mm -hmm. You know what this is? Dead damaged carpet fibers. Oh. Okay, you can see how your carpet's worn out, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, where's it worn out the most, would you say? Maybe right On the there. edge, right? The and edge. then the, the hallway, correct? Yeah. See, now I keep a quarter in my pocket. This right here. I'm going to take this and show you what this sand and dirt. This, is, this comes out of your carpet. Right? I'm gonna put it right here on my glass meter. Just like so. Okay? Now I'm gonna take this quarter. Can you hear that? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Terrible, right? Yes. You hear that? It sounds like nails on a chalkboard. Okay? Now I'm gonna put this back on the pad here. Now look at the look at the uh, the meter here. Look how scratched up it is. Fill it. Solid glass. Okay, mm -hmm. and it's all it's all scratched up. So if I have something that's gonna scratch up something as hard as glass, what is it gonna do to the carpet and the couches? Mm -hmm. It tears them up, right? Now if I took yeah. a, if I took some sandpaper and I just started rubbing it across your pillows and I started rubbing it across your area rugs and I started rubbing all this dirt all across the floor and I started going like this, how long would it take for before you kick me out? <laughs> you kick me out because what the hell are you doing? You're sanding down my carpet down to the floor, right? Pretty soon we'll wear a hole in the floor and then we'll be digging our way to China. Okay? <laughs> so the thing is that dirt and sand cause damage to your couches, your carpet, your area rugs. How much does all that stuff cost to replace? That's a nice couch you're sitting on. Pretty penny, right? Okay, so if you can make it last longer by keeping sand and dirt away from it, would that benefit you? Yeah. Absolutely, right? And See, you can see with the Kirby, just as you use it, it pays for itself, okay? It might cost you eight quarters a day, but it probably saves you eight quarters a day in the long run. Maybe not right away, but over having it for years and years, it pays itself off over and over again. Mm -hmm. So really, it doesn't really cost you to own a Kirby. It actually pays for you to own a Kirby. That's what we always tell people. And they don't get that, but they get it when we show them how to ruin drugs. Kurt Dirt, because the only insurance that you have against your furniture and your carpet the only insurance you really have on that is a good vacuum. Yeah. 
because the vacuum is the only thing that's gonna remove the dirt out here. You can call up the company and have them shampoo three times a year, but there's a difference between solid dirt and washable dirt. This is solid dirt right here. This doesn't dissolve in water. So any shampooing that can be done is only for spots and stains. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. This stuff doesn't come out from shampooing. The only way I can actually get this out is with the vacuum. That's why I'm doing the vacuuming before I shampoo the carpets. So you can see there's our normal payment program, 386 down, and then you can do 12 payments at 217 a month, 18 payments at 153, or 24 payments at 121. Now that's just an anytime program. You can basically call us up in a week from now, a month from now, or you can even call us up in a year from now, and I'd come back out and I'd deliver you a brand new Kirby at any time you really wanted to. You don't have to buy one from us today, okay? That's the full retail on a Kirby right there on the other side. That's just what the payments break down to. Okay, now if you got a Kirby, uh, what would you do with your old vacuum cleaner? Would you throw it away or would you give it away or would you trade it in to save a ton of money? Well, not, saying, not saying you're going to get one, but you probably trade it in, right? Yeah. Okay, you wouldn't need two of them, would you? And how no. would you pay for something like this if you got one? Would you write a check, put it on a credit card, or would you do an easy installment plan like most people do? Installment. Installment. Okay. Now that's usually based on credit. If you based your credit on a scale from one to ten, ten being the best and one being the worst, where do you think you're sitting on that scale? Oh, blessed. I'm gonna say a five. About a five. You're right in the middle. Okay, great. Now, what's cool about the the finance company that we have is that they will approve you for the Kirby. Okay, if you want to get one, we just want to make sure that you're going to use the machine if you have it, and we want to make sure that you really want one. Because if you don't really want one. We don't want to try to get you approved for one. But our finance company, they're a little picky, but they're not real picky. As long as you have some established credit in your life, if mm -hmm. you've done some things on payments in the past, then we can probably work with you. If you've never done anything on payments, they're going to just deny you because this is an unsecured loan. It's like having a diamond ring on your finger, you know. You start paying for it, you know, and then you skip out on the payments, They get and you got the ring. They can't ever find the guy who has the ring, right? Yeah. Kirby's the same way. So this is in the house. So if you have it, you don't pay for it, it's hard for us to get it back. So you do have to have a little bit of credit bill. Have you ever done anything on payments before? Mm, it's been a minute, yeah, but... Yeah. Are you trying to rebuild your credit? Yeah. Well, this would be a good purchase then, wouldn't it? You got a pen, sir? You're real. Eat stop with that. Mm -hmm. Do I have a pen? Yeah, do you have a pen? Can I use a pen? Well, you want a pen. Um, Over there. Okay. There's one over there. Is it on her? I think it's in that thing. I had one on me earlier. I lost it. It was a long walk. William, what about this backpack? Because one oh, is by the way. Or a marker. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Where's your old vacuum at? Is it around? The old one, you still have it here, right? Your old vacuum? This thing, oh, that thing ain't gonna approve me on that. 